Hi there, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner. Um, I finished one of my do projects um, that is for someone um, very special here on YouTube, um, and I'm catching up with um, uh, birthday gifts. So, uh, guess girls, guess. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, because I have like several ladies that I would love to create something uh, for them. So this is uh, my gift for one of the ladies and um, I created this um, box uh, following the, uh, Bonnie's tutorial that um, um, how do you call those? Gosh. Um, Chinese type of, you know, origami uh, box, okay, and um, on the front, um, I used a till the birthday um, stamp uh, colored with the Copic markers, and she's holding a cake, of course, because it's a birthday, and um, I created the flower from the uh, recollection flowers, those old ones in the jars. Um, they used to sell those in like glass heavy jars with the wooden tops on it. So um, yeah, I used uh, like um, um, this purplish color um, flower for the base. And then I used the net. Um, I had a piece to show you guys. Oh. Here it is, sorry. This type of netting, and it's kind of stretchy and flexible, and I have that in my store, so if someone is interested in that, uh, you can take a look. So anyway, the uh, um, the net in there, and then I folded uh, two different flowers in halves and uh, secured with the bread, and of course I put the uh, charm, not, a lot of, not enough of light, uh, with the crown and it's kind of dangling there so um, and I glued it right on the box and um, Tilda, birthday Tilda herself, she's on the pop-up dots because um, the uh, top of the box is kind of sticking out so I want her to be, you know stick out as well so it wouldn't be like she's bending over or something so she, um, I, of course, I stickled her all the way, so she's all glittery, a normal birthday type of girl. And from the top, there is this hanging tag. It is magnolia dye, uh, uh, just for you. And I added the metal charm in here, and there is a message there uh, for the person who's gonna. Um, receive this on the bottom I used those half uh, pearls and I think it's 16 millimeters diameter and those been sent to me by any ever uh, ever blooming crafts so thank you Amy and uh, so yeah let me show you the sides uh, so I was using the um, for the box itself I was using the my mind's eye, my mind's eye, all paper, and it was uh, 29th, sorry, uh, straight uh, market, okay, and it has two sides to it, so yeah, I used the double sided um, paper, and I love that chocolate brown print with this turquoise color uh, flowers, and the backing was green matching the leaves. I just love those colors. Sorry. <laughs> so, and I used the um, lace from my stash, and uh, of course it opens. Um, but before, let me show you how the lid looks on the box. Okay, and I will probably need to take it off. Um, it goes in a little bit. Um, tight but um, you will figure it out so there is the box inside okay so for the uh, mm, for the top of the box 
Um, Bonnie uh, has a tutorial how to do everything, so I'm not going to go over it. I will try to include the link below, but um, I use the Martha Stewart um, Border Punch and um, this uh, butterfly I bought for, off of eBay and this is the Little Wild Orchid Craft um, Crochet, uh, well, sorry, the uh, lace um, trim and I used some, um, I don't believe it glitz paper pack, 8x8 paper pack, so it was matching really good and um, I distressed it and rolled a little side so I secured the butterfly on top of that and uh, I put a little, um, I used um, um, this stencil, I had it in my stash for forever and I used the um, medium, uh, flex medium and guess what, how I spooled it, I needed to show it to you guys, okay? Put in TJ Maxx, love it. Um, yeah, there's my spreader. So, and uh, while it was drying, I applied a glitter on top of it. So that's how the gift came out. And this is from my stash, a little rosa. This is um, was sent to me by a Gisela Lavish Laces. Thank you, Gisela, as a gift. And um, this. Um, butterfly accent I have the um, the bottle uh, uh, tops uh, for sale at my store as well uh, so check them out they are different colors and stuff so and you just glossy accent the image inside and um, uh, check Karen's uh, J um, oh my gosh Karen I will include the link below <laughs> JD uh, lady, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyhow, the uh, this is the mesh on the bottom, and this is the stick pin I showed you earlier that I didn't have enough to send to Archana, so I'm using it here, so it wouldn't be wasted. And this is one of those folded flowers, and I used the um, uh, acrylic um, accents here to stick uh, them inside to for the for creating like a. Um, my um, dimensional piece and some pearls sticked in there um, and of course the pearls um, everywhere else and uh, the rhinestones so yeah that's the top and inside I decided to take it from plain um, inside um, I uh, before I glued the uh, um, actual box um, I ran it through the, my Tim Holtz embossing folder, which is postcards and stuff, and I inked it with the same um, blue Broken China Tim Holtz distressing, and I glued it then. And for the easier slide, um, I um, on the outside I added the scotch tape, regular scotch tape, so it will have that smoother surface because. It's embossed, it's kind of rough. Uh, and to finish it from inside, I just adhere that um, beautiful uh, double um, layer trim. So, yeah, that is my um, creation for one of you ladies out there. Sorry, I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> um, anyhow, I hope um, she's gonna she's uh, liking it of course I'm gonna fill it up with the birthday goodies so anyhow um, I hope you like it leave me a comment um, um, I talk to you later Bye.